art of living tips for your small apartment with it on display. If you lack the space for a dedicated pantry or another storage area, why not display them? Make use of breathable basket, wire basket, and other aesthetically pleasing storage solutions. Foldable everything. Another smart choice is to buy foldable furniture whenever possible. Desks, chairs, and other furniture can usually be found that folds up for easy storage. You could also consider wall-mounted foldable desks, tables in your kitchen. Those are your tips brought to you by The Art of Living. about my style, my quintessential English style. <laughs> okay. You dressed me and I love each and every piece that mm. I'm wearing. Talk to me about this look. And uh, so I was, th because every time I style, I have to, to think of the character of the person I'm styling. Uh -huh. One of the very rules of, of styling is um, that you have to, to make the person very comfortable. Okay or if they want to go to the extra mile. So if yes. they're not making them comfortable, make yes. them uncomfortable. Okay. And when I was doing this on you, mm -hmm. I said, okay, you, you, you're a working person, you juggle, yes. and, but you also need that elegance in you. Yes. That to say that, you know, I'm part of fashion. Yes. You know, so yes. I was like, chunky shoes will yes. work for your running around, not like me, you know. Yes. I can run in Still very thin is. shoes, yeah. Yes. So, but I thought of this, and the new fashion trend is always like, black and white will always be in fashion. Okay. And then we ha we are doing pleats. Pleats okay. is it's a new fashion, you know, Ooh. like it's all it's back. It's not a new fashion. It's back. Okay. So, but to give it an extra, uh, yeah, you know, yes. you mix the two. Mm -hmm. This is like almost like an accessory okay. on top of the. So, so you have an elegant, picture. and you have an extra look on you. Now I want to know what else is in this house because I love. Okay. Each and every so this piece. is this is my working space. This okay. is my my world where I work. This is where I come and indulge. This okay. is where I think. Okay. So upstairs, let's yes. go upstairs. This is where I rest my mind, but I keep on working. So Erica, yes. all this art is gorgeous. I like the way you've mixed the Western, the African, the Asian. Talk to me about what did you get the pieces from? Every, every priest has a story. Actually, that what I like about that because my partner, my life partner, yes. that's his, his field, his professional field. So we, we thought that was a bit humorous. Okay. And I like this one because I live by these rules. Okay. It's a Buddhism teaching. Like, you know, we all we have all heard about the monkeys. I do not see any evil, I do not speak any evil or you know, what is it? I do not hear, you know. There are the three rules of the monkeys. So I try to live with these rules when I'm coming to your room. To my, to my sanctuary this side. To your side. sanctuary, yes. okay. So uh -huh. these are art pieces that I actually lived with them when I was living in Asia. I think those are the first ones I bought in Masai Market. Okay. Like 10 years ago. 10 years ago. But they moved with me. They you know? moved with you. Yeah. This is a piece that I got in Sri Lanka. Okay. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Yeah. This piece, I bought it in Kenya from okay. Tribal Gallery. It's, it's, it's a special piece. I didn't buy it. I was actually given with my life partner okay. as a present. Oh, nice. And he thought this, this suits me. And that is? These are lotus uh, petals, but they're dry. Okay. And this was done for me with a, with a Thai American woman. So it's lotus. She did them for you? Handmade? Yes. Yeah, they're all handmade, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, what I paid for it, she just didn't do it for oh, me for free. Oh, it wasn't for free, <laughs> yeah. but it was also handmade. But she knows me, yeah. yeah. That's very special. Yeah. That's very, yeah. very, very special and unique. No ways. No Woman, really. how can you not have a living room? I mean, my friends stay with me in the garden. Yeah. And that's where we eat and drink. And then I have a reading room okay. over there, which okay. I think it's my living room. What do you do with a living room? Watch TV? <laughs> I don't watch TV, you know? <laughs> you don't watch TV? I watch TV. Yes. Like, TV finds you. I don't watch it. So even oh. You have your smartphone, you have yes. everything. Yes. So I watch a lot of documentaries and just films I'm interested with. Guys. Doesn't have a living room. This woman doesn't have a living room. Jesus. Okay, show me where your living room is. What your version of living room? So yeah, that's easy. Erica, this is. 
utterly blissful. I love it. I cannot believe you even have a garden. This you is have a so garden. cool. I mean, I learned this from my mom and my dad. You know, you have to eat. I eat healthy. Yeah. I mean, I spoil myself once in a while with yes. bubbles. Yes. But I eat healthy. Everything has to come mostly from my field. I mean, if I could have a very big land, I could have pigs and cows and, and you know, chicken. And chicken. Literally, yeah. Really? I will, I will. Really? So do you get your hands dirty? I do get my hands dirty, you know. I'm posh, but I think I will do like... Yeah. I mean, I have to be that kind of woman. Yeah. I'm always a different woman in every day. Every day I wake up as my different character. Yeah. So today sometimes I wake up, I want to be posh. Yes. The next day I feel like I need to be this actress. The next day I'm like a simple girl. Yeah. And the next day it just reminds me, I am Erica. I am also that little girl inside me, you know. Yeah. Are you living the life of your dreams? I can't say I'm living it because I have a vision and I have a target. You have a target. Yes. Beautiful. So sure. this is where you entertain your friends. This is not. This is where I entertain all my clientele who comes. Okay. Oh yeah, you know sometimes I also entertain my friends. So okay. let me show you. All right. When I'm having my friends, mm -hmm. I like we we all like sit around here. Okay. So I put chairs and then I put the charcoal grill. Okay. So we do nyama choma. Yeah. And there, then you know have some a bit of basins. Put ice cubes. Put a bit of beers. Nice. Yes. Beautiful. My friends are quite uh, simple and smart, let me call them They're that. simple my and friends, smart. Yeah. Uh, can I be your friend? You can be my friend. <laughs> Don't you want to be her friend? Talk to us and give us your feedback. We love to hear from you. About this beautiful space so this is another space i yeah. just finished um an event called the september concept okay it was a fusion between denim and the denim were done with the maasai and turkana women okay and the high brands denim and we did a fusion with the uh, artists these are all kenyan artists okay as you can see oh nice yes and but i want to i want i need to give the credit to the art curator okay. i'm a fashion curator but yes. the art curator is called kennedy mugo okay so he has the story of every artist because he works with every artist okay so i love these pieces i wish i can afford all of them yeah but i love all these pieces i love so, it I and mean, it you know what it depicts you because it's very fashionable like yeah. it's fashionable art and yeah. it just makes every and it's so material meticulously done yes. and how you've put it everything together including your jeans yes. that I'm seeing all blue yes beautiful. and on this side we have you know the Kenyan designer Anyango okay. Pinga so I've also ah. put her collection so it's like for me I appreciate every creative person okay. and I, I miss to go out to meet creative people because what, when I did the September concept, it mm -hmm. was about creatives coming together. Okay. It was not a party, it was like creatives coming together. Yes. So I appreciate all of them, and these art pieces are amazing. Yes. One of the Kenyan designer, Nyango Pinga, she's yes. amazing. I love her work. I okay. Mean, yeah. Nice. Do you know what, guys? Look at this. Look at this. Isn't this creative? and amazing. We need to support our Kenyan people who are so fashionably creative and artistic like you. So you got the Maasai and the Chukana women to do to this? To work for me, yeah. Oh, Most nice. of the collections they did, yeah. yeah. So I actually went to Lodwa, yes. to Rukana. Okay. It was, it was a very good experience. I like okay. to explore myself. Like I said, yeah. I get dirty, I get dirty. You get dirty, I girl. Get dirty, yeah. I don't say And anyone. still look fabulous. And yeah. Those are actually, they were pieces. curated. I mean, that was created, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. very nice. The time yeah. fabulous. I love it. So very anybody nice. who wants to get to know the the, the art curator, Kenyan yes. Mugo, is much welcome. Okay. And all these are Kenyan artists. They're all different. Okay. So you can get in touch with him. Yeah. Nice. There you go, beautiful people. That's the art of living in every sense of the word. Are you living the life of your dreams? She is living the life of her dreams. You too can live the life of your dreams. All you need to do is hard work, get dirty, and enjoy life. Join us next time at The Art of Living. Thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Myla. Toodles.